Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy MB. The beat it up king, man. You know I'm trying to do what I do. But I do want to tell y'all all the great things that going on with your boy. I know y'all been watching, looking. You know what I'm talking about? So now it's time to set the record straight for all the big accomplishments that I've been doing, man. You feel me? Moving and shaking the pot. You know, it's a celebration every day I wake up. It should be a celebration every time you wake up. You know what I'm talking about? But sometimes you got to motherfucking wake people up to understand what the fuck you got going on. Your grind, your vision, your journey. Not only my journey, but everybody's journey, man. We all got journeys. We all tr either riding a bad circle, got them. Hey, bro, can you pick me up? Take me over there. Man, that's your journey. If you can get it right. <laughs> you feel? But I'm just saying, man. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. I ain't even want to get out here and just throw it out there like that. But I guess I got to bring these shoes. I bring them out. Bring them out. Hold up for a sec. I got to do the presentation based off the fact that uh, now I'm in the shoe business. I'm in the shoe business. I got my own shoe. So I think. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so look. Let's be real clear. It's your boy MB, man. Your favorite, your favorite rapper, singer, songwriter, act. I'm putting you shit in the back, yo. Um. Um. Alright, so let's, let me talk about the shoe business and why I jumped into the shoe business. And why I figured out, I, I did everything known to man as far as branding and marketing i had a headline drinks on me sold out i had a uh, you know what i'm saying the t-shirt drinks on me sold out which was dope because i don't lie the t-shirt was very very competitive and now everybody in the world got their own t-shirts which is love i want everybody to win with a t-shirt brand and then I did when the pandemic hit, I was like, yo, that drinks on me brand, you know what I'm talking about? We need to take that thing to the next level. Gotta get the mags. Boom. So lot. So as I'm going through a lot of stuff that I'm doing, you know what I'm talking about? And and, and let's be real clear. The acting thing is gonna slow down for me because I realize now my uh my ability to sell merch. And my ability to capture the world might not be necessarily Facebook, <laughs> but I'm going to give y'all some love too. You know what I'm talking about? But my ability to sell stuff is very apparent. So the company that I had partnered up with, and I decided, man, you know what? I'm going to sell some shoes, man. I'm going to get this shoe off. NBDG. NBDG, NBDG, NB Douglas, Georgia. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna show the shoes yet. You know what I'm talking about? So when I start to research shoes and, and to be a shoe designer, right? I, I I wanted to really get into the shoe. I'm so I'm such a creative genius in my mind that I want to know how people feel when they're on the court. How people feel when they're just doing everyday shit. You feel what I'm talking about? So I was like, I like, yo. When I got the opportunity to design my own shoe, right? I wanted to understand how shoe feel to certain people. And I start before I even designed this shoe, y'all, I was watching how people, like with the low tops, the high top, the Jordans, the color schemes. I was looking at all of that. This is what we have to do now that I'm in this part of, you know what I'm saying, my life. So, so when I start to do is watch everybody's feet. See what everybody rocking. You know what I'm saying? Just looking at the styles and how they, you know what I'm saying, come to wear. This is what I'm going to wear today. All right? So, with that being said, I, you know, I, 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 before I even knew that I was a shoe owner or, or even really want to, create a shoe I had looked at these shoes these are my shoes right I think these are the five rings 
Five ring joint, right? Very crisp. I don't even win, but I got it. These shoes were produced in the Netherlands. What's going on, Kayla? I see you, Kayla. These shoes are produced in the Netherlands. So obviously, Jordan have several factories. I was saying that the Jordans was <laughs> produced at Bangla, Bangladesh, but these are the six rings. These are the six ring Jordans. I wear them very few times, you know what I'm saying? So they, I can look on them, feel me? Very few times I want them. These are the six rings, right? Jordan. So with me creating my own shoe, Jordan was really the mark for me. I was always thinking, all right, Jordan, you created your own shoe. You shot that jump shot. Swish. Ooh. I see why the world loved your shoe. I see why they rock with it. I see why they rock with it. It's a dope shoe. You're an NBA player. It definitely teach you. everybody that got Jordans. You're definitely not shooting like Jordan. I'm, I'm talking about I see people with the, the freshest Jordans. Brick. Hold up, bruh. Take them Jordans off and put on some goddamn Scotty Pippins or whatever. But nigga, not Jordan. Anyway, then I looked at this box. So those shoes will come from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. And I ain't gonna lie. You probably never be at the Netherlands. All right, so I looked at these here. Boom, all right, fresh. I can lick on. These shoes are created. Made in China. These shoes are made in China. So I thought about the Netherlands. My, 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 my George that I'm presenting to you today is based off of Netherlands and China. And when I did the research on Netherlands and China and Bangladesh were a lot of the Nikes. Do you realize that these people are getting paid 35 cents to make these shoes for Jordan? 45 cents to make these shoes for Jordan. And then they charging y'all blase blase money to make the shoe when the labor cost to make the shoe is very cheap. I'm going to bring this shoe back up because I have a point to prove here. This rubber part is rubber. These are these shoes are $150. This, this part is rubber. When I look at the, the part of this, this is not even suede. I don't know what this shit is, but it hurt my hand. It's not suede. And that's, that's, that's rubber at the bottom. So I don't know but because Jordan has a brand, he can sell y'all shoes for very cheap. He can sell y'all cheap quality shoes because it's branded. Y'all been tricked. The reason why y'all love Jordan shoes so much because he's Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all time. But now that I'm a shoe guy, I'm a shoe designer. I can see what it's just fucked up at. This is rubber. I paid $200 for these. What these called? That was this. Oh, yeah, these six rings. I paid $200 for these damn shoes, right? What is this? Now that I'm looking at it, what is this? What is this fluffy part? The cotton? Cotton is cheap. The way to design these shoes are not quality. But the brand of it is. So what you all are buying is branding in a brand, Michael Jordan. So what I'm doing right now Is stepping outside my box of being a rapper, singer, songwriter, actor, marketing genius, and etc. I'm stepping outside my box to launch my own shoe. And it was successful. Shout out to everybody that bought the MBDGs. MBDG. That's going to be the new thing. And if y'all ain't bought them, you still got time. They're forever. 
these are my shoes. I rock it. But the thing is, I think that y'all are not used to having somebody personally that has their own shoe. LeBron James got Nike. You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry got armor. You're not used to somebody that's on your Facebook that got their own shoe. That's not my problem. This is a God's gift, God's blessings. Be different. Step outside your box and rock with quality. And the reason why I ain't put my shoe out right now to this point, because I want to talk to you all. I want to I wanna understand, you know what I'm saying, where y'all mindset is when y'all buy a shoe. Is it the fact that you see them on TV? I did that. Is it the fact that y'all see them on the basketball court? I love that. I got music. So, these are the things that we can kind of check off these boxes when it comes to these cheap-ass shoes that you buy them on a day-to-day -day basis. One thing about that boy, MB, I worked hard for my brand. And I worked hard for my brand, and a lot of people supported the brand. And it's going to go to the roof. You think that them ugly Kanye West shoes started from because... They just was looking good? No. These Kanye West shoes came from Kanye being Kanye. And his fans bought the Kanye shoes. Even though they look like, I ain't going to lie, Jesus probably would have wore them. He wore flip-flops and he walked on the feet. But anyway, I'm just letting y'all know. The Kanye Wests, to me, are trash. Not because the price is high, it's because the quality. That's why he was able to charge his price. The actual shoe itself, being Kanye, being a Kanye designer, is trash. But that shoe itself, now that I understand shoes, it's great quality. You ain't getting nothing but the greatest patented leather. You ain't getting nothing but the greatest walking shoe. I don't know where he made his shoe at. But I know where I created mine at. So I want to tell Kanye. Shout out to your ugly shoe. But give respect to the quality. See these are the things that when you buy a shoe. Y'all looking for the look. Right? Yeah. You want to. Your face value, your eye con your eye test is like, mm, I like this shoe. I like how it looks. Sometimes look can be very deceiving because you don't know what the quality is. It's not like, let's be real clear, y'all. You know when you go buy grocery, go to the grocery store right up. And you see all the ingredients of what you're trying to buy. So you're like, oh, it's low sugar, no sodium, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's healthy for me. Y'all don't do that shit when it comes to these shoes. Y'all just look at the shoe and automatically think, damn, I like this shit. And you attach the brand to Jordan. LeBron or whoever. Y'all attach the brand because it look good. Y'all ain't looking. Y'all don't give a damn about the quality. All y'all, y'all pick up the shoe. And I'm going to do it right here. Y'all pick up the shoe and look at it like, all right, yeah, yeah, yo, yo, this something, I mean, I'm military ready. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't know that this shoe is not going to last that long, but you don't pay all this money. And also, people that created it was creating it from a, a sweatshop. But y'all don't care about the sweatshop. I understand. Shit, all I know is these joys, I want to be the first one to get them. Cool, that's okay. I ain't tripping on that because I understand the value of what Michael Jordan did. And I understand the value of Kanye West did. But what I'm telling y'all is this. And I also want to shout out to everybody who bought the NBDGs. This is going to be a, a different movement. Come on in. Come on in.
I'm telling you right now, I created, I created, all right, so let me break it down. I think I've created one of the dopest shoes known to man personally. Um, I've put my money where my mouth was, and I, I, I put myself out there for this shoe. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like this shoe, my design, and I have several designs that I'm going to do, but I'm going to do some more of a beta test for me. But this shoe, the comfort, the box, the creativity that I put into this shoe, is going to change the game. And it's not about the world thing, which that is my ultimate goal. But right now, if you you know me, you got to buy a shoe. This shoe has my name, my imprint, music, everything about this box. Hold up. We open it. It's Lamborghini Doze on this box with a magnet. I created that. I created that. You can't say you rock with me if you don't support me. And that's probably the reason why we don't talk that much. I put my money where my mouth was at. I got two shoes. I put my money where my mouth was at. This is my shoe. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Kanye. It's black on. I got my own shoe. So when you look at the shoe, when you get it, hold up. Let's be real clear. Oh, I did not tell you this. All right, let's go back to that. These are high-end shoes. You're not getting something from the Netherlands. And you're not getting something from China. Because we all know China shit cheap. And the Netherlands, hell, I don't know how they working. Let me smoke on that. Shout out to everybody that is a no to prestige of Italy. The prestige of Italy. I think that Italy is dope. I think that Italy represents elegancy, craftsmanship, focused, especially when it comes to the NBDGs. You know, when I designed this shoe, right? And what you're going to get, when y'all get it, it's going to be all automatically. Oh, Lord. Damn. Boy, it's a lot going on over here. Hold up. I'm taking it. But, but first, it's going to be packaged. It's definitely going to be in the goddamn plastic. It's going to be in the plastic. That's how you're going to get your shoes. Shout out to everybody who bought these shoes. A lot of people bought them. I'm just waiting on them to show them pictures. It's gonna come here. It's gonna come in your goddamn Lamborghini box with the these pink ones. It's definitely lit. And I ain't got me a pair. I ain't got me a pair. So let's look at this shoe. Let's look at it. Cause I already showed y'all the Jordans. Look at this shoe. I showed you the Jordans. I showed you the bullshit rubber. I'll show you the fake ass suede, but it's Jordan, right? So when you see the NBDGs, right? That's suede. These are the pink and black ones. Shout out to everybody who bought the pink and black ones. We lit. Shout out to all the ladies that bought the pink and black ones. Regardless of what you think, we selling over here. We worldwide with this thing. But shout out to the suede, though. And then when you, when you... These are, di this is a different cloth than you would get with any other shoe. Besides, you know, on the high-end shoes, this is real leather. So now that you got a suede here, you got the real leather, you got a suede in the back. And October coming up, you got my NBDG logo. You gotta think about it. Think about it now. She, I'm tired of goddamn buying shoes every year, every other year. 
Now, these are very, very prestigious and limited edition. I would recommend you wear them every day because they're that dope and they're that prestigious. But if you choose to wear them every day, these shoes can really, if you got the suede clean on the front of this, they'll last you for a long time. Because they're being quality, they made from Italy. Anything that's made from Italy, I promise you, you're going to get high-end shit. High-end Italy shit, man. Gucci, Prada, whatever. So I didn't, when I had them joined on, I didn't care about who was about what they created. I was wanting to create my own shit. I, that was one of my bucket lists to create my own shoe and to see people wearing MBDG shoes. And the MBDG stands for Norris Bennett Douglas George. MBDG. These are dope. I got a pair, but I don't know. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not, I'm not man enough right now. To rock the pink. Y'all know I like my red and black. But. I think it's a dope shoe for a female though. Real talk. And even in males. If they, that's how y'all rock it. NBDG man. Made in Italy. Handcrafted. Suede and level. 100%. Not that bullshit that Nike trying to sell y'all. Real talk. So. As I am pondering. You know what I'm talking about? Let's sip a little bit. As I'm pondering that red and black, I mean that pink and black, and, and think about Jordans and all, how everybody loved Jordans. I've been a, a fool when I was in high school. Daddy, daddy, buy me Jordans. No, I can't afford that. Okay, well, let me get my check out. All right, I started understanding branding about it. I said to myself, one day I'm going to have my own shoe because of the fact that Michael Jordan created so much of an energy, so much of a vibe for his shoe, that I'm going to get me one too because I've always been a type of uh, person that defeated the odds, defeated the odds. Nobody did not know that I was going to be on TV, movies, etc., Hat line, clothing line, buzz, buzz, buzz. Not everybody want to do it. But get what? In my seat, I was one of the first. Music, etc. I always felt like I was the jack of all trades. And every time they know me, they know me, I'm pulling up in that what? Red and black. So, I love that pink and black, but I'm going to tell you what really is dear to my heart. It's that red and black. So you already know I had to create a shoe. And not only, like I said, not only did I create the shoe, which is limited edition, I created the box. Everything for me is about music. I create the box. So that's some another limited edition. One thing I started to learn about Jordan, let's do let's go back to this. I'm gonna go back to this for a minute. The boxes never change. The boxes never change. And I'm not trying to, I'm not going to say everybody. Yeah, Jordan is a billion dollar, trillion dollar company. The box don't change. NBDG, the box going to always change. According to what color you get, according to what design you get, and my name is right there. Limited edition. So let me bring out my greatest invention. Again, I love the pink and black, and I love the ladies who bought all the pink and black. So I'm waiting on y'all pictures. Hope y'all pictures come soon. Got a photo shoot and everything designed to come up with the ladies rocking the MBDGs. This is gonna be the new thing. Again, get on that motherfucking bus. I get love. Now with this design, this is my first design. 
This was my first design. I'm just gonna put the tape out there. Boom, 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 box, boom. And the reason why I created these boxes as an entrepreneur, as a uh, designer of my shoe, is based off the fact that I love music. And I wanna entangle music with my design. You feel what I'm saying? I felt like, yeah, if I'm gonna create a shoe, it's gotta be part of my lifestyle. And I like to walk low top. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a swag of a low top. So I create this box. And if you look closely, MBDG, boom, 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 Norris Bennett, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, my shit. So I created tapes. We're going back to hip hop. For those who understand hip hop and black owned businesses, Quit telling me I don't want to see no posts that say you support black owned businesses. Because if I see it, I'm going to delete you. Because you ain't support me. But shout out to everybody who bought the NBDG shoe. And you can still buy them right now. Again, Lamborghini Doe. And for those who think that you can continue to talk to me on a regular basis, sorry. No, if you're not trying to buy nothing, I ain't trying to talk to you. Sorry, I'm a businessman. Business come first. This is how you're going to get the product. Just like you would get anything. I don't know how many shoes going to come already in a plastic. I'll wait on it. Can you go to Hibbits and get your shoes in a plastic? I'll wait on. Can you go to a sports edit? May that be Douglas. With your shoes in a plastic? Can you go to Foot Locker? With your shoes in a plastic? You reason why you can't do that? Because it didn't take shit to make that motherfucker. When you slide this motherfucker out. You're looking at quality. 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 Made from Italy. You're looking at quality right now. So this shoe. Leather. In the front, leather, 100% leather. In the back, and I designed it because I didn't want to, well, you know what I mean? This is my favorite color. I had suede here and suede in the back. These are suede. So with this shoe and with both of the shoes, you can do it casually. They'll let you in the club with these. You already know, man. They be like, nope, no Jordans. You can get in the club with these. But you can also use them as, you know what I'm saying, everyday use. NBDGs, man. This is what I'm working with. This is a new beginning. And I'm going to ask everybody that they know. Do you know anybody that got their own shit? Support black owned businesses, man. You got a, a definitely a limited edition box. And not only that. You got a limited edition shoe. It's your boy MB, man. MBDG finna take over the world whether you like it or not. Southeast Town. I'm out. Hey, it's your boy MB. The rapper slash singer.